Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use this wall switch solution uh, for the H32B Pro controller. And you can see here I have three mobile phones. This is Home Assistant and the Tuya, that is for Internet Remote Country. And this is Apple HomeKit. And the Home Assistant and the Apple HomeKit is using local network, we work without the internet. And this is for remote country by internet. And this time we will add this wall switch, uh, just a different wall switch. I will show you some new innovation uh, in this H32B Pro. And this is the switch terminal board. You can see here that we can connect with this dry contact, just a momentary switch uh, for this board. And this board have connected this H32B Pro with the IS232 port. And so you can see I can turn on really one. That switch will be updated in different mobile phone. And this is relay two, relay three, and relay four. And this four relay is on, and all application is on. And also I can use this remote, and you can turn off remote. They will be updated. And turn off, and turn off, and turn off. So this time you can see the remote also will st update the state for this different application. Just uh, you can control and relay on and off. Okay, and this is work for the switch terminal board by this IS232 point. But in this version of the H32B Pro, we have designed the new function. You can see this is a traditional switch. Just you can see here, like this switch, on and off. It's not momentary. And this is momentary, and this is momentary. The momentary switch, you can see here, just self-reset. When I press this button, will self-reset, release uh, for this button. Uh, just a switch, a button. And this is lock, locked. This will be locked. So this time, uh, the traditional switch will be used by the H32B Pro. I can turn on relay 1, relay 2, relay 3. So you can see this is update. And also I can use the mobile phone. You can see here, I can turn off relay 3, relay 2, and relay 1. That will be off. But you can also use this button 1 to turn on again. So this button, the uh, down or up, is not for the on and off, just for talking, just for talking the state. You can see here. So it's not important. The button is up and the button is down, just talking the state. So that will be very useful for your old switch. So now you can choose any wall switch, just a traditional wall switch to use by your home automation. So this is for traditional switch and how it works. Let's look at what is inside. Okay, now let's power off. I will show you how this wall switch works. You can see here, this is a wall switch. We just have installed this board. We have designed this small board that is for the traditional switch. We have designed this small board. This board is a dropped for the wall switch. Used for this traditional switch, just the upper reach of the H32B Pro and the switch. And you can see here, we have designed this small board. And this is for input, that is for the switch button. You just connect with this switch button line and to this terminal. And here I have the IS485, A and B, that for communication for the bus, 485 bus. And here is 12 volts, that is for the power supply for the board. And this is the output, because some switch will have the LED indicate. Uh, you can see here, like this, it have the LED indicate. So the LED indicate can feedback from this terminal. That for kinkiness wall switch, and also you can use for other wall switch. So you can see here is a small board. Uh, this is the back and the in front of the side. Okay, let's look at the size. 
of the part. Uh, this is a uh, switch box. You can see uh, we can place this part on the button and connect with the one, uh, just this one, and connect to this this part. Uh, that will be just uh, install. You can see that is enough space uh, for this board and this one. And also, if you have used this standard, this EU standard, you can see here, this is a switch, and this is the back of the box. So you can also install this small board and to your box. You can see here, we have designed, uh, let this board uh, try to small, and so you can install to your, your EU box. So this board, you can see that input 1 to 6, that will mark support 6 button. Uh, such as this switch, uh, that have 6 button, can connect with this board. And this monitor uh, for this board, if you have used this, this type of the switch, also can support uh, max six buttons. Uh, just install this board uh, to this uh, switch box. So what is the difference uh, from this solution and this solution? And this solution, you can see, just use the S232 cable. And this switch button, that have four buttons. But you will use five cable because the K1, K2, K3, K4, and the KCOM to this board. You can uh, connect with many ones from this switch. And this solution that use IS485, you can see here, this is IS485, just A and B, two cable, and a communication with this switch. And this switch, if you can uh, connect with more switch, you can see here, that is IS485. One switch to next switch and to next switch and to next switch. So you just install this small board uh, to this switch and the second board to this switch and the third board to this switch and the fourth board to this switch. And all this let IS485 one by one uh, connect to it and it connect to it, and this connect to it, and this communication line. And uh, this is for the power. Just let all cable and all switch together use the DC12 power board. That will be uh, for this board, a uh, power supply. So this almost have four lines, just uh, 12 volt and ground and uh, communication, as uh, 485 so this is for the bus line to connect with this H32P Pro. And if you can put the one, uh, I suggest you this way, that just choose any dry contact. So this cable, just uh, uh, much cable, ma so many cable, but that will be very stable because no software and no communication put, just only use on and off switch, connect with it directly. And so, project and a sound situation, you can't uh, use this so much land. So sound switch, uh, you can use this IS485 solution and connect to this controller. So just only two, two lines. So that will be easy to place the new one. And also I think you can use this board or this solution together. And the sound can use this, this board uh, for this switch and the sound use this bus solution for this switch. And they can work at the same time from this H32B Pro. So every button is controlled on and off, and the software will be updated. And this is the hardware of this small board uh, for use this traditional switch. And how to configure it? Let's look at the software. Okay, let's look at how to configure this small board for the software. And this small board we will install on this uh, switch button. And you can define and which button and control which relay of h 32 b Pro relay controller. And here we can see this is the website of the h 32 b Pro. And here we have designed an option that is IS485 type. 
And here I have two options. The option one is mode bus, that is mode bus protocol. And this is special device, that is this smart board. So you can choose this one and just uh, press this save and uh, the controller will be ready for use. And then you can use this Kinkoni Assistant Tor that is set by this smart module. And you can just use this IS485 and connect. And with this USB to IS485, I dropped. So you can use this one and connect to this IS485 port and connect, connect to your computer and you can use this software. Here you can see this is target relay controller address. That is address. So you can see here that is H32B Pro address. So if this is one, so you can set this is one. That means use this small board communication with this address one controller. And here there, that is the switch adapt address. So you can input this for 10. Uh, if you have the second board, uh, you can set 11. And the third board, you can set it to the 12. Just a different number of the address of the board. And here you can see the SW1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that one board can support max uh, six buttons. And every button, you can set which relate to country on and off. And if you can set the type, the launch, or the momentary. If you have used this momentary switch, like this switch, so you can choose to the momentary. This is momentary, like this four button, because I have used this four button. So you can just set to four, uh, SW1 to SW4, and for the momentary, and the country relay one, relay two, relay three, relay four. And if you want to use a second, uh, switch panel and also you can set uh, by this uh, one two three so that two button and two switch panel can control one lamp and one relay just use the different address okay this is set the momentary type of the switch and if you use this type of the switch that's the launch launch mode so you can choose the type is launch and also this is launch if this is one button, only one, so you can just use this one and input really one. And that not need to set, just the rest for it. So you can set every button, just set this small part, and for different address, and for different relay channel number, and different type. Then you can click apply and click save fresh. That the part will be working. So that will be very easy. And this just read the state and read the configuration from this part. Okay, thanks for watching.